have a seat. Good morning. Hi there, Doctor. Hi, good to see you. What can I do for you today? Um, it was your nurse who um, rang and uh, asked me to make an appointment. Okay. And um, I can see from your notes that you've had an annual review, is that right? Yeah, I mean, I, I just recently joined your practice. Yeah. We've moved up uh, to the area. And when I handed in my little information slip, they noticed that I was that blood pressure and was on Ramapril. Yes. So uh, they said uh, I needed to book in uh, bloods and a blood pressure check, mm -hmm. and your nurse did that. Yeah. And I was pleased to see that my blood pressure was normal, but she then rang back saying that one of my results wasn't quite normal. And she said there's nothing to be alarmed about, but I needed to come and see you. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, I, I can go through those blood results, but first, because I've never met you before, can I just ask you a couple more questions? Yeah, of course. Um, so are you working at the minute? Yes, um, I, I run a chain of restaurants, and we're setting up a new one in, in the town called The Stuffed Olive. Oh, right. um, and so we're about four months into the project now, up and running, uh, 120 covers. Oh, no. uh, so yeah, things are going well. I mean, it's, it's been a busy time and a stressful time, yeah. but you know, business is good. Oh, great, okay. Uh, and who have you got at home with you? Um, my wife. Uh, I mean, the two boys are at uni, spending all my hard-earned money. Yes. Uh, but other from that, to be honest, most of my time has been not spent at home, but yeah. more at work. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, how, do you know, it, you're very busy, or I can see. Um, do you get much time to, to exercise? Um, I mean, I go to the gym twice a week, but I have to admit that's all I get done, yeah. just because I've been so involved in the setup. Yeah. I mean, hopefully that will, you know, most of the work's done there, so it should, Good. It Good. should, it should start running itself. Uh, and how's your diet? Um, probably not the best. I mean, uh, normally pretty healthy, but I've been working long hours, so I've yeah. been snaffling burgers from the kitchen as it's uh, you know, a quick and ready meal. Yeah. I appreciate that that, that, yeah, that may be uh, a problem. Okay. And uh, so you, you had your annual review and then we called you about a problem with your cholesterol, am I right? Yeah, the nurse mentioned that she said my kidneys were all right and that I didn't have diabetes, but yeah. my cholesterol's a little bit borderline. And yeah. She wanted me to have a chat with yourself. Yeah. So, um, had you had any thoughts about cholesterol? Uh, no, well, not really. I mean, you know, at that review, you know, the nurse said she was pleased I didn't smoke and that yeah. my uh, blood pressure was good. So, to, to be honest, no, I hadn't actually anticipated that. I presumed no. that was perfectly healthy. And when you got that call, were you a little bit concerned about anything? Well, you know, I'm a middle-aged man and someone rings you up and says you, you've got to see the doctor about your cholesterol. Obviously, it goes through your mind. Mm. Well, what does this mean? Yeah, and had you had any thoughts about what, we, what we're going to be doing for you or what you could do for that cholesterol? Um... To be honest, not really, just with a yeah. brain. Really giving it much thought. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps a lecture on losing a bit of weight. Well, should we go through this annual review that you had? Yeah. So, as I can see, um, you're, you're a non smoker, which is great. We worked out your BMI, which is which, which we take your weight and your height, okay. um, just to see if you're overweight. And you're just on the border of overweight, okay. so maybe that's something that we could talk about later. I must admit that my trousers are a little tight. Yeah. They were. I can't. I can't dispute that. And uh, and like you've already said, your kidneys are fine, and you you're not a diabetic. Okay, that's good. Your blood pressure was good. But we did find some high cholesterol right. on your blood test. Now, do you know much about cholesterol? Uh, I mean, other than, as I said, uh, it's, um, I know it's not good for you, it can yeah. be bad for your heart, but to be honest, I don't know anything other more than that. I have no idea really what it is. Okay, well, cholesterol comes from, from the food that we eat, but then we've also got cholesterol that's made in the liver, right. and you can't really do much about that. Mm -hmm. um, now, when people have got the high cholesterol, 
it can sometimes fur up the arteries oh, right. and that puts you at slightly higher risk of, of heart disease and, and strokes. Right, okay. So what we do is we find somebody with high cholesterol, we put their numbers into the computer mm. and that's things like their age, their sex, mm. um, their blood pressure and whether they've got any other um, any other medical problems like diabetes okay. or a, a family history right. of, of, of heart disease. And from that, uh, we work out a score, and that risk score tells us what's your chances of having a heart attack or a stroke in the next 10 years. Okay. And yours has come out at 16%. Okay. So what that means to you is, mm. if we took 100 people identical to you, okay. the same sex, the same mm. you know, blood pressure and everything, everything the same, 16 of those 100 people hmm. would have a heart attack or a stroke in the next 10 right. years. Okay. So what do we do about that? Well, there's, there's a couple of things that we can do. The first thing is, is, is looking at your diet and the amount of exercise that you do. Okay. And I can come back to that. Okay. The second thing we can do is we can, we can consider a statin tablet. Do you know right. much about statins? Well, I mean, I, I can't, you know, I've seen the articles in the Daily Mail and they yeah. say that doctors are always trying to give their patients statins yeah. and that they're, they're not a good thing and yeah. that perhaps we as patients ought to be a little you know, cautious about taking these. Okay, so I can understand that's a bit of a concern, but how about I go through what they do and any side effects and then okay. we can decide whether it's something you're interested in. Okay. So statins lower the cholesterol that's made by the liver. Okay. And it's one tablet that you take every day. Mm -hmm. And we know that if, if you were to take a, a statin every day for the next 10 years, yes. And so would all those other people, all those 99 others. Mm. So 100 people, same as you, taking a statin mm. for 10 years, it would reduce the risk from 16% to 12%. All right. So, so then, you're looking at about a quarter, aren't you? It is, it's a mm. quarter. So, you, so 100 people would have to take the statin for there to be four people who, who would have had a heart attack or a stroke that don't. Okay, okay, not a huge number, okay. No, and so you've already mentioned you know, the, the, the side effects that, that are in mm, the press. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it seems to cause everything. Yeah, well, the most common side effect that statins cause is muscle aches. Oh, right. Now, we know that about 10 to 15% of people who take statins will get muscle aches. Okay. And, um, and it you know, they can feel like you've got a really bad flu. Oh, right. And so, so if that were to happen, we usually stop the tablet and actually those muscle aches just go away. Okay, okay. So you've got to, you've got, well, you've got a bit of thinking to do. Is it going to be worth, in your mind, yeah, sure. taking a statin for 10 years mm. to save the, to save 16 people getting a heart attack down to 12 people? Okay. And because you'll be probably be on that statin lifelong, it's probably something that you, you may want to have a think about. Oh, I, 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 I just want, yeah, I'd, I'd like to think about that. Yeah, well, how about I give you a, an information leaflet about the statins. Yeah. It'll take you through everything I've just said. Yeah. Um, you can have a read uh, about it, discuss it with your wife, and then get back to me, say, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. See if you've got any questions, and we can see whether it's something that you're interested in. Okay. Yeah, I think that I, I think that may I can do a bit of googling. And, yeah, uh, abs absolutely. So, as well as the statins, should we go back to to things that you can do yourself? Yeah, so yeah of course. There are things like um, changes to your diet. Now you mentioned that obviously recently you've been having a, a few more yes. burgers than you used yeah. to. Do you think there's much much uh, opportunity for changing that? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, the reality is it's, I mean, it's a bit of a wake up call, and I can, you know, uh, at the stuffed olive recently have some beautiful salads, and yeah. perhaps I need to be raiding the salad bar rather than the grill. And I, you know, 
I think that's realistic. You know, that's that, that's a simple change for me to do. Well, yeah, that and that would be great. Now, the other thing is exercise. Mm -hmm. So, although exercise doesn't have any effect on your cholesterol level, mm. we know that it's good for your heart okay. health. Okay. So, you mentioned that you go to the gym twice mm. a week. Do you think there's any room for improvement there? Um, the reality is yes. I mean, uh, my wife walks the dog. Um, and I think probably the easiest thing is perhaps I would say I could walk with her because yeah. we do, you know, she goes here, you. So, and, and, uh, and now that the business is quietening off a little bit uh, in terms of the setup, yeah. um, I used to go, we used to go walking the dog together. So, I, I certainly, you know, in the evenings, yeah. um, that would be, yeah, feasible. So, yeah, I think that's a great idea. So, if you could take, you know, e the amount that you exercise mm. from twice a week to maybe four or five times, yeah, that, that would that. probably have a mm. great benefit yeah, to your okay. heart. Okay. So, why don't you uh, go away with this leaflet, have a think about the statins, yeah. have a speak to your wife, wonder if you could change your diet and, and the amount that you exercise, like we've talked about, mm. and then pop back and see me in a couple of weeks once you've had a think, and then we can, then we can take it from there. Okay, Doc. Okay. Nice. A real pleasure to meet you. Thank you. See you later.